I'm Bill, I'm with Kalimoto TV. Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the garage, and welcome to the final day of the stock tune on the 2022 BMW S1000RR. That's right, we have the Bren tune already hooked up to it and we are doing a stage one install. Now, I'm not gonna walk you guys through the full hoops of everything that you have to do for the Bren tune. Uh, if you guys wanna see that video, I'm gonna link up above the S1000R. It's all the same procedure. The R and the RR are exactly the same now. They use the same module. Of course, you'll need to buy a new module if you've got two bikes, but uh, everything is exactly the same. So we've already gone through, we've already pulled out the program out of the bike. We've sent it over to Bren Tune. Chris has sent me over a stage one and we're gonna talk about what Chris has done for us on the stage one. And then of course, when the um, exhaust comes, the headers and the exhaust and the filter with the flap delete, we're gonna go ahead and do it into stage two. So we'll see that video soon. So uh, I have seen online, a couple people have commented and said, Bikes built after July 2021 have a different ECU and they are locked. Well, we're about to find out because I've got it all plugged in. We're ready to roll. So let's go ahead and see. Let's see. We've got, uh, we're going to go ahead and set it down for a little better view here. And we're going to select work and we're going to select into writing and tuning WS. I'm assuming that's William Schaefer. And uh, let's go ahead and watch this process go through. And please connect to the vehicle. Yep. And switch the dashboard. It's on. And let's see if this thing writes. All right, so we're back. Looks like we're switching our dashboard off for a final time. Looks like everything went through okay. Yep. Switch it on. And we should be good to go after this. Uh, the dashboard went through its little, uh, its little flickering and everything was in red. And then uh, it took about 10 minutes to write. And so we're just in the final stages, writing ECU completed. Okay. And we should be good. Now, uh, just to confirm, I do want to tell people, so my bike was built August 21. So this is an August 21 US version bike. And uh, it looks like everything is just buttoning up here. So let's go ahead and uh, as you guys can see, I'm already geared up. We literally just came off the street off of the first ride uh, and I wanted to get the stage one in it. We're getting ready to leave for Button Willow, so, uh, or excuse me, for Chuck Walla. So I definitely wanted to uh, get this tune in, but looks like everything's complete. So let's go ahead and get uh, finally geared up everything and let's get out on the farm road and uh, talk about what Bren Tune did for us on this thing. Well, welcome back you guys to the back rows of Guadalajara, Mexico, where we are testing out the Bren Tune after we've installed it. Uh, now we are uh, completely stock exhaust, stock air filter currently. But what Bren Tune has done is uh, they've worked their magic on the bike. They've opened up the air box flapper, they've forced them open. They've also opened up the exhaust valve, so we've got maximum air in and maximum air out, helping take away that major dip that we had from six to 9,000 RPM. And uh, it's in all gears, so if we go into fifth and give it up, you can see we've got pretty consistent power. Very, very nice. They've fixed that kind of dip down there. They've also uh, fixed the uh, quick shifter. So the quick shifter shifts much nicer now. It's much more crisp now. And uh, the thing just is a screamer now. Now, this is a stage one tune. Get over here and let's see. 
my favorite back road here. future now we have an air filter coming and we did order the stage 2 kit from Rentoon air filter in flap delete then we have a full exhaust system going on with the Leo Vinci pipe so we will be uh, we will be screaming soon enough but if you guys are uh, just looking for a stage one a stage one is basically uh, what I have right now. And then stage one just basically opens up everything and just gives you such amazing throttle. The tip is gone. So if you guys just want it for your street bike, highly recommend this tune. It is going to fix all of your issues with that big dip. And, uh, you know, riding out on track in my first S1000 single R, you know, that six to 9,000 range is very usable. It's very needed. Little stealth mirrors up. Make sure there's no intruders behind me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, definitely is, is a, um, is a needed tune. Now Brent Tune's been working on this tune for the last couple of years and they really have nailed this tune. They've really gotten this thing down to just run incredible. So what's also nice about the stage one tune that I got is the BMW S1000 series has self-adjusting ECUs. So you can put in not recommended 87 fuel and it would adjust for that or 91 or 93 or if you put in race fuel it actually adjusts for that so once we get the air filter in and the exhaust in I'm actually not gonna have to change the tune because the tune is already set up to basically be exactly what we have except more horsepower more air in more air out so the uh the other thing that's real nice about this tune is when you first start it after you get off the bike it's going to high idle it's gonna idle about 2200 rpm I'm not sure why BMW does that. I actually asked Randy over at ANS, and uh, he said he doesn't know. It has to do with the Euro 5, but it doesn't make sense that they rev it up, which then makes more noise. The idea is we're trying to quiet it down in Euro 5. than this bike. I mean, don't get me wrong, this bike wheelies and we do have traction control and wheelie control on so it's a certain lift that it allows you. But um, yeah, huge praise to Bren. This is uh, definitely the preferred tune for the S1000 single R and the S1000 double R. For you single R guys, um, it's basically the same exact tune. So we've got the same exact thing that's going on. So uh, if you guys are interested, even with the stock exhaust filter and everything, you don't want to change anything. You just want to get a better rideability out of this thing. The Brent Tune's going to help that out. So uh, hit them up. But uh, 
to stop up here, give you a little, give you a little look at the S1000 Double R in its original form before we get ready to uh, de-exhaust this thing, decap this thing, and uh, get into the exhaust and everything. Uh, let's see. So S1000 Double R Mineral Gray. I love it. So we're getting ready to uh, put the aero exhaust full titanium uh, header system on this thing. So it should look pretty good. Uh, we got the Gillies rear sets on. I didn't do a video on this only because I've cut the video on the S1000 single R. So it's the same exact basic setup. So if you guys are interested in the Gillies rear sets, uh, I'll link that video up above, but very nice, very nice. The S1000 double R Brentune, you guys, Thank you very much. I appreciate all you do. And uh, make sure you guys do the normal. Hit the subscribe button, smash the like button, and then ring the bell notification. Bell notification is going to give you future notification of future content here on the channel. So we'll see you guys next video. Bye, guys.